was right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the Mages are free and Corypheus loses his demon army. Though, as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. They came out of this alive. As far as I'm concerned, they can tell whatever stories they like. Big legend. Hope you live up to it. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clorel's tragic mistake. Where is Stroud? Mm. Warden Stroud died, striking a blow against the Servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice, and remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens, even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Stroud died for the ideals of the Wardens. In war, victory. And we are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? I do, Your Worship. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. <sighs> After all that, you give them yet another chance? While they do that, I'll inform the Wardens at Weishaupt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. You've got a lot more blood ahead of you. Fight well, and take care of Varric for me. Hawk sent me one final report. She's on her way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Venatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Stroud and to the Divine. Yes. You took an army from Corypheus, but that will matter little if Orle falls into chaos. All arrangements have been made for the ball in Halam Shiral. Let us know when you are ready to proceed. Go as soon as I am able. Good. Cullen, Josephine, and I will discuss the best way to gain an audience with the Empress. Speak with us when you are ready. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or her soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... You seemed calm. Serene, even. And she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry. I failed you, too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. Wake, what the hell? What the hell is it? A 
It's a star. Need to be level 16 for him. Oh, there's a few people who could use it when we get that level. Oh, that's right, he's got that thing. <clears throat> okay. Red Templars on the storm coach. Right from the bell. Wow, this is... that took a while. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, <laughs> likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Countless better men and women than you are dead. Why shouldn't this be quick? I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Tevinter, rightful ruler of every piece of ground you trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Although willing, there is a group you have wronged more than any. Lord Livius Aramund of Varantium. The Wardens can have you. Let them take your head if they want it. Their petty justice or yours, it matters not. Truth lies in the next world. You can't upgrade the Inquisition. Foot soldier's armor. Okay, we got another one. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, Your Worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. 
I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. You feel your life is over? There's a place for such wardens. Sir Ruth, you'll go to the deep roads. Your death may be as quick as you choose. This sends no message. This is just... an end. <laughs> Maybe I should have executed her. <sighs> now, this is a hall worthy of the Inquisition. Um. I'm afraid to ask. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Ah, uh, no, there isn't. Let's speak later. Skull with a gemstone in its eye. I'm reminded of that demo lich, Asa right. Any news on why Corypheus is sending people to explore yeah. elven ruins of all things? No, I suspect he keeps the reason secret even from his inner circle. Captain sent back sketches of the walls. Our experts say they look elven. Interesting. Does Corypheus send scholars to find something the elves buried? Or something buried with them? Inquisitor.
Uh, I don't know whether it's took to everybody or not. Hawk's gone, what does Varric have to say? I knew Stroud, you know, not well. He led the wardens near Kirkwall. Not many people knew who he was, but the man was a hero when it mattered. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus, he won't be the last. This story's... No good for heroes. You must be glad that Hawk made it back in one piece. Yeah. Closest thing I've ever seen to a miracle there. <sighs> Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where she's going. I should let Bethany know what's going on. I'd better write some letters. Excuse me. Sorry, I really need to write some letters. Another time, all right? Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse. It takes... grace. Do you think you don't have those things? Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. I believe it was the Divine. She helped us one last time. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. Hey. Every time I talk to her, I'd end up somewhere I have no idea where I am. Standing over here now. Is there anything you need? Uh. Nope. That's enough for now. We shall speak again soon.
Thank you. This is different. Again. Again. Uh, come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Okay, this took Cassandra's. Uh... Uh, good one. <laughs> Perhaps you can take over. Kunari training exercise to master your fear. I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? You fought in that siege. Every demon in Adamant wanted to tear you in half. I bet, you demon assholes! And who killed you? That's right. I on fucking bull! I needed that. Thanks, boss. Any time. <laughs> he enjoyed it a little too much. Wardens harm their own and fall to mortal failing. Man, those serving girls are frisky. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company? Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Is he always like this? I'm afraid so. The Chief loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the Kuhn. They ever wear shirts under the Kuhn, Chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Who are the others? A lot of the Chargers went looking off for stronger drinks. Let's see, who's left? We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? Man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know what's happened with those cards and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horns be pointing up. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. Hey, you need me? See you later, Paul. Nice talking with you, boss. Yeah. What do you mean? Heard what went on in that fade thing. What you think went on. Believe. I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there. People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. 
Dead, probably. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious moustache there. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerim, when the blight ended. A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden? You forget the hero of Ferelden? That was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. You have a problem. That over there is a full tavern. But everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging. And they'll fall on their swords before Corifinus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You win or not? You have an odd idea of preparation. I need to keep them at their best. What's best then, Mopey? Constantly ready for death to fall from the gaping hole up there. <laughs> I know people. Pissed off and fired up is better than dreary bleary. Come on. Lead the way. What, really? Really? <laughs> I knew you were different. Let's go. What, the desk? Oh yes, center of the empire and all that. What to do, what to do. All right, Sarah, what do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it, easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There, won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. I tell one of the soldiers and boom, the general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. Right, little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something she likes too much. She greets every important idiot. Yes. Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. Classic, yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next stop. A locked. No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messengers something gassy? And no, bears don't pop. But they flap and. Uh, hmm. Who is up there? Go! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. An inquisitor of the people, still remembering you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good! And Corifinus would never do that. Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. Anyway, fun time, Inquisitor. You! Ulfric! 
You did it. <laughs> Okay. No, but you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. We just saw the Grey Wardens try to raise an army of demons. You want Solus to bind you? He has to! If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then someone can bind him. <laughs> we'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit? Wearing an amulet of the Unbound was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. All right. Um. Close all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Please don't stop on my account. All right. Your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, <laughs> which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. 
All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. You can't be serious all the time. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> I believe this one is yours. Well played. What's the... Controls. Oh. Yeah, what's going on? First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. Not by choice. They were manipulated by Corypheus. I'm not sure that's a comfort. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? How do you like working with Leliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our soldiers handled themselves well during the siege on Adamant. They reacted quickly to changes on the battlefield. More importantly, they relied on each other. Trust in your fellow soldiers is not something that can be trained. I should let you get back to work. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Hmm. I think... <laughs> you have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio. Trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. That's the Dorian I know, critiquing every book in my library. I wouldn't have to if you could find some rebellious heretic archivist to join the cause. Are there rebellious archivists? Other than you, that is. If Corypheus ever starts burning masterworks of literature, I'm sure a few will pop up. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... all right? Stroud is gone. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. You're 
right. I was fortunate. Indeed. Although there is cause for concern. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus's real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Alright, so there was um, something more from Dorian to talk about. Inquisitor, I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven, the Fade, escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She knew it was either her or me, and she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. <laughs> I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. Wait, you don't know what she meant either? There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I didn't get the chance to say so earlier, but welcome back to Skyhold. After that terrible journey through the Fade, it must feel good to stand on solid ground again, no? I'm thankful to be back. No one should enter the Fade physically. And you've done it twice now. Shall I count you fortunate or unfortunate? I'll leave you to your work. I wish these were in order of... Oh, that's right, I was going to go there. An annoying place. Mm, there's still a shot. <clears throat> still a whole bunch of shards I haven't got. Yeah. 